It's a misty Sunday morning, and I am sitting at our usual wobbly table at the Laughing Goat Coffee House in Boulder. With a hot ginger tea in front of me, I hear the chatter of others as my friend Sahara puts away her color-coded public health notes that she keeps in a 100% recyclable notebook. With 10 years of friendship and trust, she begins telling me about the wonders of medical marijuana. As I listen, I can hear her mother with her strong Persian accent disapproving, Marijuana is not healthy. It's for drug-addicted, violent, and homeless men with no societal value. Sahara is pleased that I am a good listener. We laugh and sip each other's teas. This past year, Sahara and her significant other lived in a cannabis grow house 20 miles west into Coal Creek Canyon. The log cabin-like house had been passed on to its third generation free-spirited gypsy member that she grew to fall in love with. He lived rent-free to illegally grow 75 thriving plants of Blue Dream, Snoop OG, and Platinum Kush. Sahara was assigned to tidy up the work environment and trim the flowers when ready for harvest. Her coworkers called her the Newt Girl because of Sahara's ability to properly dose nutrients like cocoa A and B, pH down or pH up. As she reaches the bottom of her ginger tea, Sahara opens up about the grow house. I listen to stories about mold growing around window seals, a constant stench of sulfur coming from water pipes, dog urine and blankets on the couch, and mouse droppings that required gloves and masks. I am amazed at my friend's willpower to tolerate dirt and dust on the bottom of her socks. The conditions forced Sahara to take two tablets of antihistamines a day to prevent allergy attacks. But waking up to 360 degree views of evergreen trees made up for the toxic home office conditions. Our teacups are empty. I listen as Sahara informs me about her asthma from the mold and dust in the grow house and physical exhaustion from lifting heavy pots and plants. Her boyfriend primarily supervised and barked orders to Sahara, who was enamored by his free-spirited gypsy persona. Outside, after we hug, Sahara leaves for work. She is now trying to balance an appreciation for the legalization of cannabis and a passion for public health advocacy. Sahara seeks to regain her health and repair the damages from the violence that occurred at the hands of the free-spirited gypsy in the grow house. Every day, as the state of Colorado parades about the legalization of cannabis, Sahara revisits the verbal manipulation, shouting, and feelings of belittleness by her former boyfriend. When she returns home, I can hear her mother ranting about how bad marijuana is like a broken record. <laughs>